uh, as it is July uh, 17, 2025. Uh, you see, today I would like to review of uh, my forecast, uh, forecast for economical data sets. I made this forecast May uh, 2025, uh, two and a half months ago. Uh, you see, firstly, um, you, uh, just a sec. Uh, here are my forecast and uh, firstly because this is mostly mostly monthly data uh, we do not have enough price history after forecast to make conclusion uh, does this forecast work or not uh, for, uh, for example this is forecast just sec what's what's that ah uh, this is uh, consumer price index stiggy consumer price index uh, this is my forecast just sec uh-huh and uh, this is a real uh, movement of this index. You see, uh, we need uh, three, maybe four months more uh, to understand uh, how this forecast work. Uh, so uh, I will do review of other models um, uh, in three, four months when, when, we more, when we will have more data. But today I will do review only for Dow Jones because you see uh, Dow Jones, forecast for Dow Jones I made, this uh, is uh, totally wrong and uh, I would like to find the way uh, how we can fix it, how we can improve it. Okay, uh, this is forecast for Dow Jones, that's just a sec. Here it is. Uh, this forecast is based on uh, kitchen inventory cycles, 40 and 42 month cycles, and uh, both these cycles shows down, but uh, in reality, uh, last uh, three months, uh, uh, yeah, three months, uh, price uh, uh, goes up, goes up. Uh, how we can explain it? Uh, from I, my understanding, there are two ways. Uh, maybe not good ways, I do not like this way, uh, we can uh, try to find some other cycle that uh, can explain this uh, uptrend movement. Uh, you see, we can uh, check our spectrum model, I will disable our kitchen cycles, and now I will check 8, uh, 7 years cycles, uh, 23 years, uh, this is long term cycle, uh, 18 years cycle, it shows down, so we can check cycles one, 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 one by one and find the cycle that uh, explains this uptrend movement. Uh, this is possible, but uh, it seems to me this is, uh, this is too risky. Uh, from my, my understanding, it's an understanding, sorry, it is better to work with uh, major cycles. 40 and 42 month cycles. So I will recommend to play with these parameters, FSM and overtones. Firstly, play with amount of overtones. FSM, uh, you, you can find a detailed explanation about FSM. This is uh, how much price history we use to adjust our projection line. For example, if you analyze 10 uh, hundred day cycle and use uh, forecast uh, FSM 7. In this case, we use last uh, 700 days to adjust our projection line. Okay, let's leave uh, FSM 7 and we'll, we'll play with amount of overtones. Uh, increasing amount of overtones, uh, we will get more detailed, more enriched projection line. Uh, so, uh, let's do this. I will increase amount of overtones to set it to 5. By the way, I do not recommend to set the amount of overtones too high, like uh, do not, um, maybe 10, 12, it's enough. Uh, so I will set amount of overtones uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, you see projection line changes, 9, uh, 10. You see, we have... Uh, increasing amount of overtones, we'll get more detailed projection line. We we have we still have uh, good uh, wall forward efficiency. You see all uh, bars are red here, and uh, we have uptrend that explains this movement. So I believe this uptrend movement can be explained. Uh, in terms of uh, major cycles with uh, using kitchen and entry cycles. Um, by the way, by the way, uh, there is approach here. We can check um, pre uh, composite the, uh, for these cycles. I do this, uh, click this, uh, check this, uh, click this uh, tab here, and this is uh, composite for 42 month cycle. You see, this is, it shows 
how 42 month cycle works. Uh, and this is uh, LBC. This is LBC. Uh, this vertical line corresponds corresponds to this vertical line here. This is LBC because I made forecast using only this price history before LBC. This price history is not used at all. Okay, uh, maybe I will check another cycle. Oh yeah, yeah, this cycle works better. Yeah, this cycle works better. This is a composite for 40.5 40, 40 month cycle. I will uh, disable it and now I will highlight uh, highlight uh, where is ah here it is i will highlight this interval from here to here from to here to here so it shows that uh, while uh, price uh, passes this phase from this interval to this interval it shows uh, phase uh, in degrees 44 degrees till 61 degrees uh, price goes up uh, five times so you see five times and only two times goes down by the way we can check uh, how this predictable zones we call it predictable zone uh, works uh, in time uh, i will uh, disable this line and now i will check set this option on panel uh, to see detailed information about cycle here it is you see this is panel and uh, i will uh, hide target we do not need as you see this is projection line this is 40 month cycle and uh, predictable zones you see it's highlighted it's green you see uh, let's check historically how it works uh, how uh, this uh, predictable zone worked before maybe i will display it this way just sec display it together oh sorry Display it together with price chart. Yeah, here it is this predictable zone. And now I will check uh, how this um, predictable zone worked before. No, it was uh, negative. Uh, it uh, the price uh, went uh, down, but how it worked before? Here yeah, price went up. It's uh, 2018. Before that, uh, yeah, it uh, goes up as well. So you see. A price often goes up, then a kitchen inventory cycle passes this phase. It uh, goes up five times and only two times goes down. So this way we can explain the sec uh, this uptrend movement. Uh, so thank you.